Wait, is that actually recording video? <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. Okay, um... <laughs> oh. <laughs> he really is enjoying program himself. Okay, so, here's the thing. Inside this furb, I found a, uh... I found an I squared C port, and there's a debug header, but you need to pop out the faceplate pad, and these things are a nightmare. God, Ferb, you nightmarish freak creature! Oh man, I think my tweezers are on the other side of the lab. Okay, Ferb. Now, here's the thing. Um, if you make this incision, you have to come in, in with a pair of tweezers. And try to get the pop tab out so you can take his face plate off. These things are such a nightmare, but if you look at it from the back, okay, uh, normally you're supposed to take them apart like that and push forward. So you gotta get underneath that tab so we can get access to that port. But man, this is nightmarish. I don't I don't know if there's Anyway, we'll be able to, if we can. Yeah, I should have probably taken the batteries out. <laughs> okay, I got the tab. Okay, we can't operate on him while he's active. We need to turn him off. We need to, we need to start getting serious. Let's take that. Now, I have been able to get his faceplate off. Should do it this way. Just give me a second, I'm holding his faceplate in place. Oh, man, I need to roll my sleeves up. One second, one second. Sorry, sorry. This is a total improv video, everyone. Okay, so where, where are we inside here? Okay, so we've got the faceplate popped off. Boom. So that's where this, let's go to the yellow guy real quick. So there's supposed to be a cavity where there's an I squared C port. Inside this Furby, once I pop off this I panel, man, I don't have any more stats. All right, we'll just use the, the little guy. All right, right here, there should be some kind of port, but there isn't. So I'm thinking that there might actually be revisions between Furbies. In fact, you know, I think if there is going to be a port, it should be. Yeah, there's there's just no no cavity where that port should be on this yellow one. So. Now my Furby has a nice big gaping scar on the side of his head. And luckily this plastic is uh, flexible enough, so if you do this correctly, if you just make a nice straight incision, you can just put this piece of plastic back in place, just like so. It'll snap. And then you can just use a simple straight stitch and put your Furby back together. In fact, honestly, to be honest, if you just use a little bit of double-sided tape on the inside and stuck it down, the Furby's fur goes back together so nicely that, you know, you might not even need to thread it. Alright, so unfortunately, this Furby cannot be lobotomized. But that does not mean I'm not going to further try to figure out how to lobotomize them. And, um, yeah, again, in order to take the ears off, the best thing to do is just make a small and precise incision down the back of Furby's ear in order to remove it. Okay, just take a razor blade. I, you don't even need to go that far. You only need to go about halfway. Okay, you give me one moment. I'll get the post to Furby's ear from my little parts bin. So this sits in not far at all. Okay. So you don't you don't have to make like a really huge incision like I did here. I just went in blind, but as as you see, you know, just goes in 
So if you just want to make, you know, a small, oh, what would you say that is? A centimeter? That's more than a centimeter. That's one and a half centimeters. All right, so a one and a half centimeter incision up from the base of the back of the ear straight through. You sh and then just wiggle it around. You should be able to break this out and it just locks in. And that way you can actually take the, uh, the fur of the Furby off and all the face plates and whatnot properly without having to do all this cutting in the side. Because I feel really bad about messing up this fur. I'm sorry, dude. I'll, I'll figure out, you know, all new creative ways to fuck you up later.